Through the years, Nintendo fans have seen a few iterations of the Excite Bike franchise, and more recently, Excite Truck on Wii. Now, though, comes the natural evolution. Animal-themed robots. Oh, it'll happen. It will happen. Until the fateful day when you can really cruise down the highway in your tricked-out frog speedster, though. Thankfully, Nintendo and Monster Games have you covered. ExciteBots is the unofficial sequel to Excite Truck, and it looks and plays almost identically. There are some differences, though, and some big ones that make this the much better game. And wow, you're in luck because I'm going to talk about those differences right now. Okay, well, not exactly right now, but soon, because first I want to talk about what's similar. Obviously, if you played Excite Truck, you're going to be able to tell right off this game looks very much like its predecessor, and that's because they're using the same engines. That's not a bad thing, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but these levels are very detailed, filled with vegetation, filled with really nice water effects, areas that change on the fly, everything looks really good, it's very speedy, you've got a fisheye view, frame rate holds up the entire time. This is actually one of the prettier games on Wii, and it's a racer. It's a shame, then, that the game's menu interface isn't nearly as fancy as the in-game graphics. They're just sort of blah. All the menus kind of bleed together, very generic looking, nothing going on in the background. It just looks really kind of drab compared to everything else. And yeah, by the way, I did just spend 10 seconds talking about a menu interface because that's how I roll. In addition to those lovely graphics I already spoke about, you will also find the return of those lovely gameplay mechanics that powered Excite Truck. They're back. I'm going to talk about those in just a second, but first, let me go over the gameplay modes. Look at this, it's like we're sitting right next to each other playing. Excite Race, Poker Race, Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection, what? Mini games, collections, and options. Now what I love about this list is that first, of course, it's far more robust than it was in Excite Truck, but beyond that, it's purely video gamey, and what I mean by that is, it doesn't need to make sense, it's completely surreal. You're going to be playing a game of poker while you're racing around. Yes, that happens, and it's so much fun, you're going to love it. At the same time, you're going to be playing games of soccer, or throwing darts, and doing all of this while you're in races. Without going into too much detail, this is a video review after all, not a documentary. There are about 10 mini games to compete in, and they all vary in design. Meanwhile, the poker mode is a fully fleshed out experience, and you can take that online and compete with friends as well. You'll be able to earn ratings in every single one of these modes, and the cool part is, yes, you can get the A, B's, and C's, and you can pass, but the men will be separated from the boys by the S's. You're going to be looking for those S ratings. That's how you'll get the unlockables, and that really does extend the replay value. The bulk of the single-player experience is the Excite Race, and there you're going to find both Excite and Super Excite modes, the latter of which can only be unlocked after you've ranked S in every single level in the Excite mode. It's a smart and frankly easy way to keep you playing long after you've ranked A's and B's in all the races. There's a good selection of tracks, about 25 spread across 5 cups, and while you're in the races speeding along, you're going to be dazzled by the intensity, the diversity, and just the real crazy surrealism of these designs. On the other hand, you will see repeating themes, and that's unfortunate, so as you go from the bronze to the silver to the gold and platinum cups, you will see the return of Fiji, the return of Mexico, the return of Guatemala, the return of Scotland, and after a while, these designs kind of bleed together, you won't be able to tell a difference. I always thought the control scheme in Excite Truck was just a little bit too loose, but here, ExciteBots nails it. It's very tight, very responsive, it just feels much more natural to control, and you can choose to play the game either just with the Wii Remote, or if you like that extra piece of plastic, it really makes all the difference, and I'm being ultra sarcastic here, you can also play with the Wii Wheel. ExciteBots really is a great arcade racing game. I mean, once you're off of this thing, it's like a bullet, you never slow down, you're constantly catching huge, huge, immense air. And you can see the entire level when you're up there. You're constantly pulling major tricks for stars. You're taking shortcuts. It just feels like a great arcade racing game. You don't want to put the controller down. And Monster Games has really had fun with the fact that it can do basically whatever it wants to, and that's fine. So as you're racing along, you're spinning off bars, you're hitting home runs, and you're changing back and forth from robot to vehicle as you go. And you know what? It's awesome. One small warning though for purists who believe that if you rank first you should win the match no matter what. That's not necessarily how it works in ExciteBots. You can actually star up doing tricks and performing stunts, come in second or third, and then ultimately win the match. This design choice carries over to the ultra addictive online mode, which could not be more welcomed. Not only can you play against six players online, it's hassle free. Every time I've done it, I've had no problems. But it's lag free too in all of my experiences. And on top of that, you can make bets before matches, so you can bet your own stars against your talents. I think it's awesome, it's a great way to extend replay value, and I know people are going to keep playing this for months to come. By the way, you can even save your replays, send those to friends, and include challenges on your replays. Monster Games definitely covered most of the bases here, but it did forget a few things, unfortunately. First of all, the online mode does not support We Speak, which is a disappointment, I'm sorry, but it is. I would love to be able to chat with my friends, and I can't do it. 
And secondly, Excite Truck had SD card compatibility. I could actually load my own soundtracks, and I can't do that in this year's game, which is also missed. Overall, though, ExciteBots is one heck of a great racer, and I highly recommend it. Be sure to check out my full written review at IGN.com. By the way, if you see a robot spider coming at you online, that'd be me.